great northern beans is what's on the menu today i'll show y'all just how easy yet delicious this is to make be sure to thumbs up the video leave your girl a comment let's get into it take off to get started let's go ahead and go with these ingredients i'll be using some chicken broth i have some bell peppers onions and celery and i included the leaves in that celery because they add lots of flavor i have three bay leaves because mine are kind of small but if yours are on the bigger side i would just use two I have about four cloves of garlic, but you can use about two. These are my great northern beans. I already picked through them. You want to remove any rock or discolored beans that you may see. And I'll be using three ham hocks. Now, if you can't do pork, you can substitute the ham hocks with any kind of smoked meat, like smoked turkey tails, smoked turkey legs, smoked turkey wings. So first, I'm going in with my beans. And then I'll go ahead and add in all my veggies that I chopped up. And I just have these in a fine small dice. And remember, keep those leaves on that celery and use that as lots of flavor. Now my three ham hocks, they are washed off. Get those in. I almost forgot about my garlic, y'all. Now when it comes to seasoning up your beans, you don't want to add any salt in the beginning of the cooking process because salt makes the beans tough and tough beans equals longer cooking time. So what I am going to use is my all-purpose seasoning. This is the no salt edition. Get you some of that in. So if you have any seasoning that's no salt, you want to add it in your beans, go ahead and do so. But for right now, no salt in the beans you got. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our chicken broth. You can use water, whatever you have on hand, nothing, nothing fancy. I'm going to tell you one thing about it. These ham hocks are going to give all the flavor that we really need in these beans. And those onions, the bell peppers, that celery, and the garlic, that's flavor. So I added enough water just to cover the ham hocks. Now we're gonna put a lid on this and let this cook on high, you guys. It's been three hours, y'all, so I'm just coming in. Let y'all see how it's looking. The beans are getting nice and tender. You wanna go ahead and get us a mix. We're gonna put the lid back on and let this continue to cook. And here it is, y'all. It's been five hours and our beans are done. Look at that. Ham hocks are nice and tender. I'm gonna shred that meat up that's inside them ham hocks. Go ahead and remove your bay leaves whenever you see them. Now it's the time to go ahead and season up your beans. I'll be using some tonies, of course. Use whatever seasoning you prefer in yours. Now remember, we didn't add any salt, but I did add some of my no-salt all-purpose seasoning. Go ahead and get this nice and mixed. Look at that. Whole house is smelling good. There go another bay leaf. Let's get it. Now to help cream up the beans, I have a cornstarch slurry. That's two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Go ahead and pour that in and go ahead and give that a mix. And that's gonna help thicken up these beans. I'm gonna let, put the lid back on for about five minutes. And here it is, y'all. Now I did add in some ham from the leftover holiday because them ham hocks just don't have enough meat on them for me. I am a meat eater. And I did take the ham hocks apart and shredded that up, whatever little meat it had on it. The ham hock is really just for flavor because it really doesn't have that much meat on it. That's why I added the extra ham. And look at that. Nice and creamy. Y'all know what time it is. I can't leave without giving y'all that first bite. Let's get into it. Take a bite. We got the hot water cornbread. And if you haven't watched my recipe on that, it is on my channel. I'll leave a link down in the description box below. Let's take another bite. I got some rice with mine. It's nice and creamy, nice and flavorful. Whole house been smelling good. And like I said earlier, if you don't do the pork, you can do like smoked turkey tails, that'll work. Smoked turkey wings, smoked turkey legs, any smoked meat will be great in this. And I do want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Leave your girl a comment. Make sure your notification bells are set to all, and y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.